Hey, what's up guys? This is Daniel and I want to talk about something that's been on my mind since yesterday. Actually, it's been on my mind for a while now, as of late. And as you know from the title, you can only guess what this is what this video is about. And it's no surprise what the situation is. I just want to say this. When someone does not let things go, something that's been done in the past, something that happened a long time ago, something that happened back in August, been going on ever since, is still making a big deal out of it up to this point. We're in November, so it's been going on for months now. And if you know what I'm talking about, then you know that I'm mentioning the whole thing with Kennedy. Uh, Kenny. And I want to tell you something about this. I want to tell you that he doesn't. He ain't gonna understand the terms. He ain't gonna understand the term or the word abolish when someone wants something to be abolished which means he ain't gonna let go of something that happened a long time ago about the whole thing with Efri and he's still obsessing about it even up to this point after all this time you think you'll leave Efri alone for once finally let him alone and he still goes and keeps bugging him and I, I know because Efri had bought, brought it up and Rambo Raff brought it up. And recently, just today, Reese Double Seven made a video about this the same situation. But I want to say this. I want to say that he made a video, this documentary of being cyber bullied. And he claims that I was one of those people who cyber bullied him. How's me making my opinion, saying the honest truth out of anger from that day, being cyber bullying? That was that one day I flipped out because of what happened, what was going on, because of what Kenny did. And it doesn't make sense because. Uh, and. How is Efri a bully again? Because uh, last time I checked, he s clearly said in his video to leave him alone. Obviously, I don't think he wants to let it go. And I know something. I know everyone wants to move on forward with their lives. I want to move on and forget all about this. But it's been getting really out of hand and it's really getting to a point. This is, it's getting friggin' old getting really old now. Uh, I'm really tired of dealing with it. I don't know if I... And it's, and it's getting to a point where I don't know if I even want to be on YouTube no more. I mean, it's not like he did anything to me. It's just that one vid. All it, and I mean... That, I know something funny. That documentary is missing a second half. Obviously, it has me in it. Obviously, he decided to not put it up unless it's been taken down. Who knows? But I don't give a shit. I just want to set the record. How dare he put footage of me in his fucking video? How dare he? I did never say anything bad about him. I did like what two videos that I mentioned him. One was the whole trying to convince Effie to stay on YouTube at the time when all this was going on. It still is. So it's obviously just never going to end. But to me, it's over. I got. I don't want nothing to do with this guy. I know. I was. Just, I remember seeing Rambo Rap's video during that time period when this shit was happening. I remember in one of Rambo Rap's vids, he said. He mentioned me in his video, in one of his videos, and said, "Daniel, you're a nice guy. It's, you don't have to get yourself involved with this. This is not your fight." And you know what? He's right. This is not my fight, but you know what? 
I sucked myself into this hole a long time ago in the past. Something that happened months and months ago. And stayed out of it ever since. Now it's got to the point where I'm sucked back in because Kenny had the nerve to put goddamn links on the side of the video with every person he claims that bullied him. How, how is it being bullied when we blocked you? We blocked you for a god good reason. It's because you just really don't get it. And you sucked me in a week ago and I actually felt for it. Had me think you were some other person. Thinking, and the thing is, I should have never felt for it, obviously. I felt stupid. And when I realized who it was, when I realized it was you, I was like, I fell for it again. And it ain't the first time Kenny's done this to me. Freaking keeps friend requesting me, and I keep accepting me half the time. And yet, freaking thinks. I'm gonna find out eventually. Thankfully, I found out that Media Masters was Kenya. Thanks to OCP Mike. I wanna thank him once again for telling me who it was, cause he would eventually freaking got on my balls about it. That Kenny, he would eventually gotten on me and start bugging me about it. And if that's what he was gonna start doing, then forget that. That's what blocking you's all about. And you keep making videos, saying stuff about bringing up the situation uh, thousands of times when we stopped talking about it since. I know I never continued on talking about it. Like the other, like mm, Rambo Ref and OCP at the time was. I know they, they had their own problems, you know. They, they, they have a reason. Me, I just felt like I just did not belong in that situation, and I really did not want to put myself in it again. But you putting me in a video about cyberbullying and making me look like the bad guy, making me think, making everyone think that's fall for your nonsense, making me look like a real bad guy when they don't even really know me, and they don't really know half the story. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're actually taking real good advantage because some of those people are really going for your words and they eat it up. And it's all because I'm not trying to say this is a bad thing. I, once again, we know you're autistic. I know I have a little bit of autism myself. I have a form of it. I have the movements of it. I'm like, I'm like borderline autistic if I'm not mistaken. I have movements and characteristics of an autism person, but not fully. But I have them. But that doesn't give me an excuse to use that advantage to have people feel bad for me. Now I'm not looking to do that. I know I had some shit in my life too that weren't so fun at all. Especially at school when I was a kid. Especially being a little kid. I mean I had some good times and bad times, but mostly when it came to school mostly it sucked. Mostly in my life in school would finally be lifted once I went to another school by fourth grade. And for the last five years being in that school, I was feeling, I felt relieved to finally know the people I knew in that school. No, I mean, I had some enemies, I had some people mess with me. And I know, I will admit, there was, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I know I'm a nice guy, but there was a time I was a prick. That one point in my life. I know we have our thing when we were young. I made fun of a, made fun of a kid and used to pick on him. And a kid with autism, who is as has Asperger's, and I kept picking on him. Not because of that, because I used to think he was a dork at the time. Well, I used to say that, because I used to think he was a loser. I remember taking a piece of paper, spitting on it. Right in front of everybody in the class, throwing sh pretzels at me. This, this was all in after school. I used to find, I used to say a lot of things to this kid. I used to fuck with him, thinking it was all fun and games. But what made me really feel bad was the fact that I knew what I was doing was wrong. And it, and it took one day that he came to the classroom with an invitation to his party for bowling. And my first thought was, is like. And it really surprised the hell out of me because I couldn't believe the one person I used to always make fun of and make pick on 
And you know what my problem was? Because I was just trying to fit in with the crowd. People that were being mean to him. People that were just picking on this kid. And not everybody did. There were some people that actually had the brains to not take advantage and make fun of this kid. And I was one of those assholes. And I knew deep down inside I was no different either because I was pretty much a target myself at that one point, and I am still in general to this day. I mean, I don't, I'm not no target in my school now, and I never plan on making fun of people ever again. And I had my dark moments where I did things I regret, and said things I regret. But you know what? That was the past, and I'm just glad to move on. And